Hi guys, welcome to TV Calibration with Darko. In this video I will show you settings after calibration of LG's 32LF630V, that's LG's Full HD LCD TV in their 2015 lineup. I'll open quick menu to show you different picture presets. When you buy this TV, you will be inside echo mode and there are different presets out of which Expert 1 and 2 are meant for calibration. I used Expert 1, so what you see now is calibrated picture and Expert 2 is default picture. There were certain things to improve for instance white balance, also gamma which was too low making image too bright and yeah basically that's it there, there are no many tweaks on this model which is good actually it's got good color gamut around 94.5 percent of rec 709 which is okay for this class of tv so picture mode settings expert one aspect ratio for one to one pixel mapping you have to select this one otherwise you could end up with overscanned image and lose information that is part of the original signal. Okay, picture mode settings. Backlight 85. After calibration, this provided around 200 nits, which is okay for average viewing environment with some light in the room. Contrast 85, brightness 50. Sharpness horizontal and vertical at default 10, color 50 also default value, and same goes for tint. Going to expert control, here you see color gamut standard, edge enhancer off, and gamma 2.4 which will actually give you gamma of around 2.2 and it's quite precise gamma so no concerns in this area. White balance color temperature warm too and I use two points methods here you see slight increase in red and increase in blue in order to get grayscale balanced now going to low points here you see again increased red and increased blue after making these modifications you can easily copy them to all inputs by selecting this option and in a couple of seconds these settings will be copied to other inputs. Color management system, no changes here since there is a little undersaturated red and green but unfortunately this panel used on this model cannot improve these two colors. Blue, cyan and the rest of secondary colors were precise. And now going to picture options, here you see noise reduction off, you can play with this setting, it's user dependable, if you want to increase, if you want to reduce noise, use this, it's quite effective, impact noise reduction not really effective, but okay, maybe on some low quality digital materials you can get improved picture, black level is low, I'm showing settings for component input 16 to 235 range real cinema on this is important if you if you're watching interlaced content and true motion this is motion interpolation which will not improve motion resolution but for movie content so 24 hertz you can get soap opera effect some people prefer it so try this setting and pick the one you like the most so, after calibration, nicely balanced picture, good colors, good viewing angle. Of course, this is to be expected from IPS panel, but of course, contrast is only 950 to 1, which is not great for watching movies in pitch black environment, but with some lights in the room, you can get a decent result. Thanks for watching. For any question, I'm here at your disposal, and see you in some other video. Bye!